Brett on the website, and she's saying, since an I-bond does not have a way to designate a secondary beneficiary, what happens if both owners die at the same time? My husband and I each own I-bonds with each other as a co-owner. What do you think? So I think that every person needs to have some estate plan. Well, every person does have an estate plan, whether you've created it or whether it's going to be the default of whatever is in your state. So, you know, every state has kind of its its own set of rules. So you really have to maybe consult a legal professional in your state to see what would happen in the state of Texas. Um, it's my understanding that if you die without a will, then half of your money goes to your spouse and half goes to your children. So uh, the moral of the story is if you don't decide, there are rules in place that will decide for you. And I would think that you much prefer to decide on your own. So it's going to go by whatever estate plan you have set up. If you if you have a will, then your will is going to say where those assets go if you have a trust, um, most of the time you'll have what's called a pour over will, which means that that anything that's not in the name of the trust will pour over into the trust and go according to those rules. So you want to make sure that you have valid legal documents in place. 